Good morning. Happy Wednesday. How are we doing today, Creator? I hope you're having a great week and it's hump day. <laughs> so that's why it's a plus. Hey, I've been working on a little bit of summer, uh, summer vibes, I guess you could say. Summer vibes. Uh, you know, earlier this, I think it was this week, we did this little cute little uh, tandem bicycle, butter together in this uh, turquoise color. I had forgotten the hearts on my lives, so I had to go back and add the hearts, but there they are. So I thought it'd be fun to do some of our star cutouts in a summer theme. And after photographing, I realized my ice cream cone is not really showing up the best, so I'm gonna recolor that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, and then our stars will be done. Otherwise, I watercolored them with some um, acrylic craft paint. And then I took them out to my sander and sanded them down and kind of um, vintage them up a little bit. You can see I exposed the edges and this um, sanded off some of that paint down to the white, giving it a kind of a cool vibe. And we added the scrapbook paper on, same paper on all of them. So here's the pink one whoop like that and then flip-flops so the transfer I used was one transfer for the stars and that was this, this great um, summer vibes transfer has all these little uh, design elements in it you can of course transfer all this on one uh, 9 by 12 8 by 10 size um, or take elements of it and apply them to smaller signs, which is what I did with the stars. So I'm going to redo that ice cream cone. You see, he just, he's not showing up. When you look at him, he shows up pretty well, but photographing, he doesn't, or from afar. So we're going to darken that up. And I'm going to find myself here uh, on the Facebook. Make sure I can see who is saying hello. And get it to pop up not wanting to so there we go all right so say hi 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 oh gosh who is on here rosa is on her hello good morning good morning sarah hi and Anne marie hi vicky good morning from san francisco from corinne and whoa Anne Marie says, hi, Robin. Good morning, good morning. Sabrina, good morning, good morning. And Janet, such a fun idea to use with the stars, right? Putting little summer vibes on them. I think they'll be cute for summer decorating or a beach home or something like that. Um, maybe out in your um, sunroom. Okay, so we're gonna darken that little yellow ice cream cone. See, he's hard to see on the camera. So, um, I even though I did wax over these, I actually applied the stain wax. Uh, since I vintaged up and aged the edges of the star, I went ahead and put the dark wax on um, to kind of darken this bright paper so it didn't stand out and blend it in with the theme more of them being more of a vintage worn beach sign I guess you could say but even though they're on stars so I did darken them with dark wax but I'm still going to try to sand some of that down just a little bit I don't mind if I still see the yellow underneath but just to try to take that raise that little level off a little bit so I'm just going to take some um, fine sandpaper and just sand it down I don't want it to remove any of my pink so I'm just gonna do it ever so slightly. Okay, it took off some of it. So, let's grab our silk screen. And the colors I was using on this design was, um, this is actually Tide, which is a super dark, um, what I wanna say, blue green color it looks really darker on the camera but when you're looking at it in person you could tell it's that tide color and then this is our new um, tulip color up here on the Sun and then I used a yellow I'm not sure if it's a current yellow but a yellow 
And then this color is papaya. And I was trying to pull the colors out of my paper. Okay, so I'm gonna change the ice cream cone part to the papaya and the ice cream part to tulip. We'll use both colors on it. So I'm going to pull out my um, transfer that I used. Find that ice cream cone. Did I say snow cone earlier? Okay. I might have said snow cone. I hope I didn't say snow cone. Ice cream cone. I guess it could be a snow cone, but not in a sugar cone waffle. Never mind. Okay, I'm just going to match this up right on top of the current ice cream cone. And even if some of that yellow does slip through, if I don't have it lined up exactly, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna take my multi-tool. I'm gonna do the lower part, the cone part in the papaya. Previously, I did all of it in uh, yellow, but it just is just not showing up well. So I'm changing my design color. And we're gonna, um, let me just wipe that off. Bring in some papaya to the top. No, this is tulip. Papaya's on the bottom. Tulip ice cream. So now we'll see if he shows up better. Ta-da! He does much better. He looks cute. Right? So I took that word ice cream, which is right here, and laid it in two sections. Took the summer vibes and put on the yellow star. And then I took flip-flops and the actual flip-flops and put them on the blue star. Okay, now I think it all is going to show up better. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this off here. So this little bit with my um, water and a Clorox wipe. And then I can just get this put away and we can start our new project today. We are going to repurpose a sign. Kind of one of my favorite things to do is to repurpose the signs. Lay the sticky side up. I'm gonna put our backer sheet back on. Make sure you got your shiny side to the sticker. And just line it up in the corners. If it doesn't line up the best, it might mean you need to turn it around a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna put it back in my envelope. Those sunglasses are super cute. Um, it'll be cute on something. All right, we are done with that guy. We're gonna let that ice cream cone that I almost messed up dry. After a bit, I will put a little more wax over the top. So here's our three stars now. And now we can see our ice cream cone. Let's see if I can hold on to these. Doo -doo -doo. So fun. All right, we'll set those aside. I think they're gonna look really cute with the bicycle on someone's sunroom or porch or even a kitchen or three-tiered tray, you name it. It's cute. I still have uh, three, here's my other set of stars. Three more sets of stars to do. One's I'm gonna keep for myself. Now, last year, I should show you that picture. My mantle, I did a uh, patriotic theme, but it was all in, um, in neutrals black, browns, and all the uh, uh, metallic shimmers of 
gold, silver, copper. And so I need a set of stars that will go with that. And um, that might be something we'll do next week. Because tomorrow I got to work out at the attic where I sell my designs. Friday we're going to junk stock out here in Omaha. And then Saturday I work again. So I won't be back on live till next week after today. All right, so here's the sign I got at the hobby store post Easter. This sign, you know, 75% off. It's cute. It's cute, actually. I don't mind it, but you know, I got to repurpose, recreate, right? So I sanded this down a little bit and applied a little bit of paint to it. Now we're going to put on Good Eats. Good Eats. There's a link up above in the description for this transfer and bark chalk paste. So we're going to actually do a neutrals again today because that's what people like to buy. But uh, Good Eats. So I kind of want this um, white and brown to blend. So I'm going to do some of my paper towel pressing and kind of bring those colors, blend those colors in a little bit, but leaving the center more of the cream color. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to lay this down here. And I picked up a couple craft colors. Um, this is Art Deco's Coco and uh, Anita's Chocolate Brown. So we're all about the chocolate, even though they really are just not very, not very chocolatey to me, but we're gonna take a thing of water, a craft brush, and we're gonna apply some paint. Paint and water. Let's see, I'm gonna catch up on my comments here well before we get started. Good morning, Megan. How are you today? Have a great day, Rosa. Great, um, well, thank you, Angela. Angela, Angela. And it's a different spelling than Angela, so. Gala, Gala, and Gala, and Gala, maybe? I don't know. Good morning, Alina. I want to see a pics of that, of my mantle from last year. I will post that, or I'll share it here in a little bit. I gotta find it. Let me see. The Clorox wipes doesn't break down the stencil. No, no, it won't. And we call it a transfer. It's a silk screen transfer, and no. But generally, I just use water and um, my board eraser in the sink to clean my transfers. But just to do that little bit, it's not going to bother it. Don't use uh, baby wipes because baby wipes have uh, lotion in them or some kind of aloe. Who knows what? But uh, actually, a Clorox wipe or a Lysol wipe is better than baby wipes. I can't tell you that much. Okay, let me let me see if I can find my mantle from last year. It'll be I can go by dates here. I gotta go back a ways to probably June. Okay, here it is. And I never know how well it's going to show up on this camera. But there they are. So it's kind of, uh, it's patriotic, but yet in uh, neutrals. So I want to put a set of stars up on there. And I love that new uh, banner swag I made. Uh, that's all Chocotour. The big, large board with the old beautiful. That's a retired transfer. The United States was a Club Couture transfer a few years ago. So probably where that set of houses are, I believe I sold those. So um, I want to put some stars in there and yeah, somewhat recreate this, but add, add some new to it. So that was my uh, summer, it's kind of like really Memorial Day through the 4th of July. Um, and then I kind of went to a summer theme after the 4th and then, then into fall. So yeah. Okay. 
All right, so let's get started. We're going to kind of blend in this whiteness and kind of blend it into the wood color with some craft paint and water and paper towel to press it out. Let's see if I got some paint down in here. So I'm just uh, blending in some colors here. Just make sure your brush is really wet so you don't have like stroke marks. Not much of this left. So mainly getting it around the edge and then you want to kind of blend that into the middle a little bit. And then we're going to take some paper towel, pick it up a little bit. I really don't like any like straight lines, so I kind of blend it back out. And I might dry this and do another layer of it. And then we'll go to the lighter one. So by drying the first layer, you're uh, setting that paint in, and then we can add another layer. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry, just a little bit dry. So it's just uh, just aged it a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm just trying to um, graduate the color into the white. Blend it, I guess you could say. And there's a pattern on my paper towel, so it's leaving some dots. Just kind of cool. All right. I'm going to dry this and then we're going to add in the other shade. This one's more the color of the 
actual wood. So I'm blending it back into it. I'm just gonna work on this half, I think. I'm getting it really wet in the middle because I want that color to pick up more. Let's do this end over here. water's kind of getting dirty. Okay, I'll take a dry towel. Okay, I do like how I gotta put this coloring back in up to the frame because you can kind of tell where it starts and stops. So I'm gonna bring it right up to it. Blends it in just a little bit more. Right up in here. That's pretty good. I'm going to dry it really well and then we will chalk. I guess it goes better this way. Good morning. Waiting to, for reply because I missed the star. Oh, waiting for the replay to miss the star.
the um, summer stars I did not create today. I did that yesterday afternoon, just on my own time. Um, but I talked about them earlier in this live, if that's what you're talking about. Get this nice and dry. I could have just painted the whole sign, but I love this wood tone in the back. So I'm going to see how I like just painting this oval in here. We shall see. And also if you just joined, this was the previous sign discounted from the hobby store. And we're gonna repurpose and put on Good Eats and the fork and spoon. So I'm gonna add some wax and I think I'll go ahead and put the dark, special dark wax on it. mess out of the way. Sometimes it's fun when you're doing a more of a worn look of a sign. When you got this paneling and you use this dark wax, it gets down in the grooves of the paneling between the boards and even makes it more aged and more dirty looking by adding the dark wax. If you want that vintage look. And there's already distress on the frame so I'm going to go with that keeping that distressed look okay also I got a little chunk out of the uh, wood so I'm going to enhance that with the dark wax right there you see how it collects in there I think that just um, why not work with it versus, you know, trying to pretend it's not there. So if you darken that up, I'm just going to enhance it even more by applying that dark wax in the crack. Okay. All right. Let's get out good eats. Good Eats. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day, which reminds me of Good Eats. Mexican food. One of my favorite. But every Mexican restaurant, I pretty much order the same thing so I can compare restaurants. And those of the you that know me know that it's chimichangas. I love me some chimichangas. And it really, the best is still at the Mexican restaurant in Centerville, Iowa, where we used to live. They have the best. And I can order one beef and one chicken. And I always want to compare to that. We're going to put Good Eats on here, but we're going to put this fork and spoon underneath it. And uh, I'm thinking um, grayish. And Good Eats we're going to do in the bark. The dark brown. I'm hoping that'll show up. If it doesn't show up very well, then I'll shadow it with black on top. Also on there is serve daily and tips welcome. And a small goodie, so perfect for our five by fives, is included in this transfer. So you can do um, several different projects. Even this, you could do a tone on tone. 
and then put Good Eats over it. If you did, um, if you had a creamy background, then put on Dune or Grage, and then put this over in a darker color, like black, and that would be really cute. If these feel super sticky, so I'm just going to lay it right on there. And I'm going to assume my hanger is the middle. It's got a string on it so I can uh, center that up as the middle. We're putting the silk screen on here, and we are going to squeegee over with grayish, which is a gray, beigey gray color. I'm gonna use my small squeegee. So you just load it up on the angle of the squeegee, and then just go over your silk screen. Skim it over. Kind of remove the, the squeegee lines, remove your extra paste, paste, and put it back in your jar. Like just scrape it off, okay? Now we're ready to pick up this transfer. You can see it ever so lightly because it's going to be in the background behind Good Eats. So we want to dry this really well. this chunk. My stylist wants to dry the, or grow this out, but right now it just wants to do this. So I need to put a clippy in it. So she had me get some of that um, wax, which kind of holds it in place, but I think it takes away, I like to feel my hair clean and soft. So I'll use that if I was really wanting it to look good and going somewhere, but Throughout the day, I like it. I just like it smooth and soft. All right, I'm gonna let that cool down just a little bit. Someone's saying good morning. Who is that? Good morning, Darla. What kind of rag do you use for? I try to use just a uh, cotton t-shirt rag, but they break down easy. Cooling this off a little bit. I'm going to put just a dab of wax over the top of it. Just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. When I say little, I mean little. Just a hint. All right, time for some good eats. I think I will get my fuzzing towel out for this since we are going on top of chalk paste. I wanna make sure this isn't too sticky for it. set this down for a second. What do you think of that idea? Sheesh. Okay. I always like to get the feel of the stickiness by how easy it comes off the towel. Fuzzy. 
those on there. Let's bring back our board. We're gonna do this in bark, the dark brown. And trick to find the middle of your transfer because they, they'll have them, the edges, generally the edges are the same on both sides, okay? So to find the middle of this, take the sticky side out and pinch that and that will find your crease, the middle. See that crease? There's your middle. Now you know where your middle of your sign is by the hook. Line that all up, and we should be good to go. Question is, do I want to put, I think tips welcome down here would be kind of funny. So I'm going to raise it up just a hair higher than uh, the bottom. So it sets a little bit higher, and we'll put tips welcome. That way it gives us plenty of room for our G down here. And we'll cut this after we're done with, um, I mean, you could do serve daily or tips welcome. Um, we'll put that down here below it. For kicks and giggles. Okay, you got my uh, bark. Get towards the towards the end of this jar. I'm gonna grab me a bunch of it. I'm just gonna do a big screen here. Squeegee that over. Go over it a couple directions. We got those cracks of the paneling. We want to get those pretty much filled in, probably. And then smooth out any squeegee lines you might have from overlapping. And that should be good. Let's let's do a big reveal here. Do do do. So there. I like the brown because it kind of looks like the brown from underneath is coming through. So that's pretty cool. Good print. Good print. I'm going to lay this on here so I can wash that later in my sink. Now we're going to want to dry this and then we'll put this on in the same color. Keeping it simple. Fuzz this one a bit also. Find the middle. Place that right underneath the cross of the silverware. 
should be about the same as this. Yep. Getting those air pockets out. Grab me some bark here. Welcome. Got a little bleed through on my E, which I'll pick up with my multi tool once that dries. Not my multi tool. What is it called? Get this one here. Detail tool. There we go. It came to me. It came to me. I think I'm frozen. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just a little bleed in the uh, E here. You can see that? I think you can. I'm just going to take my little tip of my detail tool and scratch it off. For the most part, it'll scratch off pretty easy because we waxed. Take a little bit of spit to it. <laughs> that helps. There you go. Looks good. All right. Good eats. See the solar, yeah. I'm gonna might maybe uh, take a little bit of that dark wax to my frame just to tone down the whiteness just a little bit since we don't have a lot of white there. Otherwise, I think I am done. Let's see what it does if I put a little wax on that frame. It tones it down just a little. I do that with some distressed ink also. But I didn't know how how uh, much darker I want it. Just a little bit. Yeah. All right. Cool beans. We're done with this. Got to spend the rest of my day well, part of my day, price tagging some designs I've done so I can get them out to the shop tomorrow. And yeah, and then I won't be back probably till Monday. 
live because I got things going on. I got to work tomorrow. Going to go to the junk stock on Friday. Got to work Saturday. So I will talk with you later. Have a great rest of your week. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers out there. And yeah, I'll talk with you later. Bye.